Welcome back to the Art of Business Development series. My name is Tara Bradbury and I'm the director of the BDM Academy. Last month, we talked about are KPIs important to the property management department and went through a few examples of how you can watch your net growth and then based on the net growth that you're wanting to achieve over the next 12 months, the amount of new business that you need to be completing appraisals on, the lead opportunities that need to be coming in and how, how many contracts you need to be signing to ensure that you achieve those results. This month, I'd really like to focus on what an ideal week looks like for a top performing BDM. Now, the first thing that I can tell you about that from my experience personally and other BDMs that I work with is none of us have ever had the exact same ideal week. Everybody has a different approach and things that work really well for them, what works obviously for the business and for the marketplace as well. So it's really important when creating your ideal week to certainly look at opportunities of what does work for others, but create them into your own mold and make sure that you take ownership for them to ensure that you achieve your results. So to get that number of appraisals that we discussed, we were talking at least 30 appraisals within one month just to get 10 contracts across the line in order to get five a month in net growth, 60 for the year basically. I would suggest looking at including into your ideal week 10 core connections a day. If you're going to connect with 10 people based on a prospecting level as well as a follow-up level to make sure that we are getting consistency in our connections of people, you're probably then going to be doing at least 20 calls to get those 10 connections. Because remember, a connection is when we get the opportunity to actually talk to people. It's not when we leave a message or when the phone rings out. It'd be great if we could tick the list, but not the case, doesn't pass on that one. So I challenge you to look at including into your ideal week moving forward, every day blocking out some time, 10 core connections a day, connecting with at least 10 people, talking about what you do, talking about their investment property and encouraging the opportunity to do an appraisal for them or have them come into the business and discuss advancing on their current investment portfolio, growing that portfolio and in fact buying through your agency as well. If you can have more connections, what you'll find is your opportunities of new business that you sign will start to certainly rapidly increase. Another thing that works really well for many of the top performing BDMs across Australia and New Zealand is they're very diligent with how they spend their time on return calls and emails as well. It's so easy to get caught up in wanting to check the email. We can see the send and receive keeps popping up and just wanting to instantly respond. Each time you're distracted from what you're working on, it actually takes you mentally away from that job. And then by the time you get back to it, you've got to invest that time to get back into whatever you're working on. It might be preparing an agreement for a client and you'll start to forget where you're up to and that just adds more time. So it's really good where you can is to allow at least three times throughout the day, first up, middle of the day and end of the day, obviously allowing that you can visually see if any new leads come through but allocate those few hours in gap that you're actually focused on the activities at hand that you need to have that full concentration and then have that consistency that you're checking at least three times throughout the day as well. The final thing the top performing BDMs do is that they don't work nine to five. I can assure you that the BDMs that are signing 15, 20, 30, 40 plus managements a month will start some mornings at seven o'clock. They will attend networking events won't sometimes finish till seven o'clock in the evening, are prepared to answer the phone on a Sunday when the opportunity arises, if they get a call from a prospect. will take the time to open their laptop from home and send an email and send information about the service that they provide on a Saturday or a Sunday so that they're the first person to get that opportunity to have contact with that investor. The top performing BDMs have a career path. They have that career mindset and they really want to make a difference for themselves personally and for the business as well. So I encourage you to look at the role of BDM as a career, really enjoy and embrace it and live it and you will absolutely love all that it has to offer and the results that it can be achieved. Looking forward to tuning in with you again next month with our um, up and coming Art of Business Development Strategies that we have for you. Thank you so much.